In this quick tutorial, we are going to look at some of the features of the selection volume construction script. So to make it work, first you need to go to the Edit tab, and under the Edit tab, you need to go to Plugins, and you need to search for Editor Scripting Utilities. You need to enable this, and it's going to require the Editor Restart, and then you should be able to use the script however you want. This is already enabled, so I'm not gonna repeat that process. So let's close this tab and keep continue. Drag the, the construction script into the scene. As you can see, we have a dragon head. It's like just a quick representation of, uh, of the construction script, so you can easily see that. And you can uh, easily extend the volume and by doing that on the right side on the detail panel you can see the meshes under this list is updating automatically once you uh, overlap with the with the objects one important thing with the selection volume is it it requires the collision collisions for the for the static meshes or the dynamic meshes or the physical objects if there is no collision under the static mesh if there is no collision available for the construction script it doesn't include the mesh into, into this list so that's the one thing so what we can do with the selection volume let's delete this quick quickly so usually you have an option in the editor like uh, holding control and alt and holding the left mouse button and you can select the objects like this but it selects everything which is visible uh, in that uh, in that frame so we don't want that we don't want to deselect uh, every unnecessary part of the selection manually under the word light liner Instead of that, we can use the selection volume. So let's put this guy here again. And let's extend the volume like this a little bit. And it's just selecting the two cubes and one sphere. And why there's two cubes? This is, this is common, but let's see. Oh, it's a cone. It's not two cubes. Okay, it's my mistake. So it's everything is selected under the volume right now. What you can do is easily go under the under the details tab, and if you click on the select actors, you select only these meshes. So if you move the selection volume, the actors will follow it, or you can just easily deselect the selection volume from the world outliner and you can just push the or shift the assets uh, in the desired axis without any restriction so the rotation is available too uh, the, the, uh, the selection uh, gizmo is just snap into this cone so we don't see that uh, That's why it's rotating uh, from this pivot point. So it's not an issue. So let's take it back here. And let's select our selection volume one more time. And another feature is, uh, before that, uh, I would like to say one more important thing. If you uncheck the select actors button if you move the volume outside from this place if you shift the selection volume I mean if there is nothing in it and if you enable this again once you, once you touch the object they will snap I'm not recommending this because it's 
causing some uh, positioning issues so it's always keeping the stuff inside the box and then selecting the actors like this another feature is the randomize rotations let's say you have the volume like this and you want to randomize rotations of the assets inside this volume so you're just enabling this button and let's type here like minus 5 oh this is it let's say 10 let's say minus 5 say 5 minus 5 5 and so on for each parameter so once you move the box it's changing the rotation randomly between these two values for each axis if you disable this it's not gonna do anything so they will stay like that you can also shift the uh, seed parameter to randomize the options instead of moving the box individually so that's another feature and the other features is like you have the object type under the under the parameters <clears throat> what it does is you can basically assign different different types of uh, objects here like let's select the physics body so we have three different uh, asset type uh, right now under the selection volume which is for the static meshes the movable meshes which are the dynamic ones and the physics enabled meshes what it does is basically the simulate physics are enabled with these cylinders they're basically movable objects but these are without this option they are not simulating any physics they are just movable objects so we are gonna select the uh, selection volume again and I'm gonna exclude the world statics and the physics body so let's delete this guy as well so as you can see we don't see any meshes under the array elements but if I select the world static it automatically updates and instantly updates so these uh, are the static meshes so it selected a static mesh so it updated just selected static mesh if I shift this here it doesn't select anything so it's uh, working with the asset type that you defined under the object type so let's say the the world dynamic and let's shift our our box here so it updated just selected the cylinders what if I extend this volume like this it doesn't do anything because we're still selecting the dynamic objects but after extending the volume you can always include the statics as well so right now there are six objects and you can do it with the same process like selecting the physics body and it's gonna include these guys as well and then you can uh, do your actions like randomizing rotations or just selecting the actors and you select every one of them and then you can disable it and shift the actors as you want it also works with the grid so you can shift your actors depending on the grid size as well or you can just completely disable it and shift them however you want so I'm gonna delete uh, this guy right now like this and I'm gonna place the new one here and let's keep the grid size a little bit lower than the 100 units so it's gonna be easier to move between the spaces so let's have let's uh, let's say we have one volume here and one volume here you can select both of the volumes and you can
can select the actors individually like this so you can work with the multiple volumes uh, with the same with the same settings there is no restriction but right now we are selecting the floor so let's shift this guy a little bit up like this and let's select them and you can do the rotation can do the scale as well but when you scale the volume uh, it's gonna intersect with the floor mesh so it's not recommended it's just selection volume not the scale volume but you still have that uh, option maybe in some in some scenes it can work without any any problem the another feature of the selection volume is uh, like selecting multiple actors as you know but you can do more than that so let's say you have a composition like this in your scene it's already let's say they are already placed assets like individually and you want to do something else so let's place our selection volume here once again like this and let's extend the extend the volume like this and these guys are the static meshes so even if we delay the world dynamic we still have the static meshes under the selection volume so if I select the the actors like this and they select this guy and if you right click on the on the actor so it's gonna show this list you can merge your actors easily by using the built-in tool of Unreal so let's click on the merge quick and let's save this asset okay that's the static mesh merge cube underscore two let's save these guys so let's close this let's delete these guys as well so let's delete the selection volume too so here is your merge meshes as one static object so basically you can put your place uh, you can put your um, selection volume into the scene like this and you can easily select potentially select the entire scene which has the movable maybe or the static objects or you just can select the static ones and merge them without doing any extra selection work and once you merge them you're gonna see the materials as well under the static object so that's the last feature of it and but yeah that was it so the selection volume is gonna make your life easier with the really tight really decorated rooms so you don't have to select every individual piece one by one or you don't need to deselect the unnecessary stuff under the world outliner or you don't need to take back or repeat your action if you accidentally shift the scene or the object so it's it's one of the solution that I found and I hope it's gonna be useful for everyone who wants to use